Okay, y'all, welcome to the vlog. This is a series where I take my parents around the world. I gifted them a once in a lifetime trip, starting with taking a charter flight to Miami and then catching a flight to Dubai. We are now in Paris. And today I am giving my very Midwestern dad a Parisian makeover. We are going to a hairstylist and then we are going shopping for a brand new wardrobe. It is going to be such a fun vlog. Enjoy. Good morning, guys. Today is the day we have been waiting for. <laughs> been waiting for. I booked this trip with this premise that we would give my dad a Parisian makeover. The classic Midwestern dad is going to be transformed into the Parisian fashion icon that he truly is underneath. <laughs> I told him that there is a phenomenal salon in Paris uh, at the Ritz and that we would like book him in and maybe we would do his hair. You can see that this is like the full before, right? This a uh, gorgeous, very nice, um, you know, bit of uh, peppered pepper, salt and pepper, we'll call it. I told him that they would even shave his beard and he started growing it <laughs> because he's been clean shaven my whole entire life. And then all of a sudden when I said this, he started growing this beard for this day. And now it's kind of stuck with him and he likes it. So now he's not even gonna shave it off anymore. So it looks, makes him look like the most interesting man in the world or the most interesting man in the world copied the most interesting Midwestern dad in the yeah, world. <laughs> his hair is kind of salt and peppered throughout. So maybe we even like dye it. We make him look 20 years younger. We don't know, we're gonna go Go to the salon and get their advice and he's gonna get a little parisian makeover get some like i don't know skincare they're gonna maybe put wax on your hands so I'm gonna look like do your big, toes i'm gonna end up looking like your big brother yes exactly yeah. we have phase one that is the salon phase two which is shopping what do you think about going on a shopping spree dad shopping spree full new outfit full know. new outfit we'll see. the uh, whole thing uh, we already got him a leather jacket i don't know if i'm gonna be able to go out in public we'll see. <laughs> i got him a little leather jacket that uh he loves it's really really nice little suede jacket just for this trip he wears it and everyone's like oh wow it's such a nice jacket it looks so nice uh, so we'll right. get him some new shoes maybe some louis vuitton shoes or something mm -hmm. and uh then we'll do phase three which is like the final reveal right so uh stay tuned for the rest of this video because it's gonna be good Is he probably won't keep up with it like long term so we probably want to avoid like heavy roots but maybe we like take the salt and pepper out of the top potentially is the idea and then maybe like just blend it so it's more subtle and it can actually grow out without hard lines maybe yes. he's never had a beard before in his whole entire life i told him we were going to do this on this trip to paris and then he grew out his beard and now we all love it so maybe he keeps it so basically yeah i have a term to um kind of make it more grayish than white. Okay. Uh-huh. So uh -huh. He's secretly bougie is the is the <laughs> what we've discovered. So he loves luxury. He hasn't done it for his, himself in like 30 years. Oh. Dan, how do you feel? How, how good is he though? You know what you're doing. It's like you're an absolute professional. <laughs> Okay, midway through check-in, you can see just the overall shape is like so much better. It's actually kind of crazy how much the shape matters for the overall like thickness appearance of the hair. Right? 20 years younger. Look how great it looks. I mean, the difference 
is like crazy cool. Look at it, and it's still like perfectly peppered all the way around. A little touch of darkening to the eyebrows. Not much. What do you think, Dan? I think I like the amber. Yeah, like right? Yeah. Isn't it nice? Yeah. <laughs> Bryce, guys, Bryce at the Ritz. Highly recommend, okay. absolutely incredible. Like did all the right things, knew exactly what, what he was looking for and wanted. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. Yeah. We have the first worst of the checklist done. Done is getting, have you ever got a facial before? Uh, no. <laughs> I've always had this face right here. Uh-huh. Uh, you know. Dad's very first facial. We're calling this phase 1.5 because technically phase two is the shopping. We are doing Dad's skincare. Exciting times, getting a facial. He's gonna get his ears waxed. I don't know. And I'm, just, I'm just looking for the exit. I found the exit. <laughs> we again are doing it at the, at the Ritz Spa because it's amazing. And uh, Dad hasn't seen the pool yet or anything, so we're gonna show him that as well. And uh, yeah, let's go. Here is the Ritz um, book. Uh, that they sell in the store and actually online as well. I love this. I actually own it. I own it. Super pretty. Ooh, there's a store. Wait, we have to go into the store. We actually need to get Dad a pair of swimsuit trunks because uh, he didn't bring his and the pool here is absolutely amazing. And I just found these. Dad, first shopping experience. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, look at them. They're so cute. Uh... Look yeah. at them. Look how French these are. Yeah. Those are actually so epic. French, and they're going to make you short. French. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. Dad, we're buying those. Wait, we're going too far. No, no, we're, go we're, we're going it's swimming. It's and these are your short. Dad, you have to model them too. You have to do your oh, no. model no, no. walk. No, no, no. Not how they can. In the back. <laughs> okay, now that we bought the swim shorts, we have to show Dad the pool. Dad, Dad. Yes. Yeah, it's a pool. Isn't that Blue pretty? Pool. Look, look how freaking cute it is. And dad, yeah. the music plays underneath the pool. Oh. So when you're swimming, you can hear like elegant music. That means you gotta go underneath the water. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole fun of it. Yeah, yeah. How pretty is it? Yeah. He's gonna look 25 after this. She said, absolutely guaranteed at least 15 years. At least 15 years off. That's Jeff, don't cost extra. This is the best thing we've ever done. This is the after. I don't know. I haven't seen it. <laughs> really? They just moved you? <laughs> yeah, it moved me over here. I mean, wow, it looks like nice. Yeah, you uh, smell good. You yeah, smell oh, like. Do I? Okay. Yeah. Uh, she did a lot. I don't know. I blanked out there for a little while, so I don't know <laughs> what happened. Technically, we should have probably done this in reverse, but now you have an ear waxing. So yeah, we went from pleasure to pain really fast. Okay. Pain. <laughs> so as far as waxing, thinking the ears, of course, here, right? Mm -hmm. And then maybe a little bit on the nose. Oh, we're already going into it. I love it. She's going to put this stuff on your ear, Dad, like this, right? Uh, and then okay. she's going to kind of like pull real quick. 
and it, it takes out all the hairs. So you don't really feel the hairs as much as you just feel like the whole thing, like all at once. Okay. All right, brace yourself, Dan. Beauty is pain. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, beauty is pain. Uh, uh. This is gonna be a horror movie. <laughs> You're gonna be able to hear now. This is yeah. great. What? You're gonna... <laughs> I was so relaxed. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Okay, now nose. Oh, oh, uh -huh. nose? <laughs> yep. I think mm -hmm. that's a fine. Oh. <laughs> I'm having a great time. Beauty is pain, Dad. Yeah. Parisian icon. Parisian fashion icon. Uh, Y'all have rescue here? <laughs> like 911, you know? I think you must uh, breathe by the mouth now. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> Never done this in my life. <laughs> really? But imagine this <laughs> on the lakes. <laughs> She's ending with a nice massage. It was torture and then <laughs> into your beard, right? Mm. Have like nice oiled up oil beer oil mm. soft. Feel your ears. Feel your ears now. Oh. Right? Feels better. I'm like little baby ears. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Finally finished. Yes. What do you think? I'm glad it's over with. <laughs> first did... part good. Second part not so good. You did the first part an hour and a half facial, and yes. the second part you did the waxing. Uh, do you like the facial though? Officially? Yeah, the facial was nice. Very relaxing, smooth, and you know, I don't know, looked good. Looks good. Soft, I guess. After. Wow, totally new skin. Dan can't figure out his new hairstyle yet, so I'm gonna do it for him. He's gonna eventually get it. It looks great so far. I mean, this looks nice. Could just do with a little zhuzhing, a little small zhuzhing. Let's zhuzh. You're gonna need to sit on a lace tool. Here are the tools in which you need to zhuzh the hair. Scalpel one, also known as hair dryer. Did you say scalpel? <laughs> scalpel two. Lay brush, your hairspray, and your new fancy gel, which the price of will be undisclosed. Voila! Voila! Today be in. Okay, today is phase two. We are shopping for my dad today. We had phase one, which was the hair at the salon at the Ritz, the facial at the salon at the Ritz, and now we are shopping. We're actually going to Chanel first today which is not for my dad, but maybe they have some shoes. We will see, but I will uh, bring you guys along for shopping day. This is the Chanel store. of earrings and a brooch and I looked at this tie which is really fun and we thought about this for my dad's makeover but maybe not a white tie we'll keep looking <music> into some Chanel sneakers. Maybe if we can find a boyish enough pair. Oh, ooh la la. Your pant cover ups the CC though. It's like the whole point. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at those. Look at the beige and black ones. You see, he was like, oh, I like these. I like these. No, we still have to get you loafers, dad. Calm down. Loafers are happening. Loafers is a must. What do you think about these? Yeah, you like them? What do we think, guys? What do we think? Dan, model us. Dun, 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 uh. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna come back on Thursday and decide on the shoes because he really wants black and we're gonna see if maybe she can get black by Thursday.
I look like a lion. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my hair. It's like literally never big. My hair is like really like kind of fine and like not frizzy. So I don't know what's happening right now. But anyways, <laughs> we just got our goodies. Da -da -da. So exciting. We're now waiting for our Uber because we're going to go to Louis Vuitton. But we bought a pair for mom and it matches so well with her outfit that I thought we should uh, put them on now. That way she can uh, wear them with her matching little outfit. So let's do an in Chanel unboxing, shall we? In-store unboxing. All these and we thought that's a bit of mom ah, look at them how pretty is that how pretty are they so fun and you can see mom's chanel necklace It'd be perfect with these in her outfit today oh ah, look how pretty look that way oh fun love them We're headed to Louis Vuitton now. Dad, what, what do you think? Louis Vuitton. Uh, Maybe put you some Louis Vuitton ready to wear? I think we're gonna get him a money clip because he's been looking at the money clip. He has uh, nice wallets, but he likes the idea of a money clip. So we're gonna look at that. Maybe a scarf, Dad? Mm? A little subtle Louis Vuitton scarf, maybe? We are headed to the one in the Gallery Lafayette because that is where my essay is and I love him, except I just found out that he's working for corporate now, sad times. So he gave me somebody else who's also in Gallery Lafayette. So I will pop into that one. I've shopped at the flagship a couple times. They have lots of stock, but I don't like love the customer service in Louis Vuitton in there. I'm sure it's like, you know, like fine, especially it has to do with your, with your essay, but everybody just wants to go to the Louis Vuitton uh, flagship store here. So it's much uh, busier and it's much more of like a quick in and out process versus in Gallery Lafayette. You can really like sit down and decide and they have lots of stock as well. So yeah, we're gonna go there, see if we find any clothes along the way, just in Gallery Lafayette in general, because it's a bit of a mall as well as the stores. I'll take you guys along. Hey, just arrived. Look how pretty freaking Paris is, man. Oh, I love Paris. Okay, let's go inside and meet our essay. Finally, we are here, and Dad, I want you to smell. This is a limited edition cologne. It smells so good. It's like it's like insanely good. Try it. Smell it. You gotta, you gotta take it off. Take the lid off. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's all too. It's not a wolf. He was debating on that one or this one, but that's the only one with the money clip. This one we like the monogram a little bit better because it's just, you know, a bit nice. It's called the Eclipse design. What do you think? I like it. I like it. Money clip it is? Yes. Some Final right answer. There. It covers it. Uh, just the clip, they get, they get all bent over and whatever. Right. It just protects it. So that's going to make help you look into a, a Parisian fashion icon. Really? When you pull it out, just boosh. Boosh. Paris fashion icon. That's the goal. If you if you pulled it out, you, you'd be like, oh wow, Parisian, <laughs> <laughs> Parisian icon. Everyone here thinks he looks like Robert De Niro. What do you think? Wow, he's good. Robert De Niro. Robert. Ah, Robert De Niro. De Niro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody thinks he looks like. Yes, you yes. see? Do you think so yes. too? Yes. <laughs> 
our tour guide who was touring around Paris was like, oh my God, he's Robert De Niro. Like he was like looking on the thing <laughs> and he was like, and finally he was like, you're Robert De Niro, right? And he was like, no, no what? No. Yeah. <laughs> like a Cinderella fit just now. Okay guys, what do we think? Right, with an all black jean and a, like a leather jacket and his new little scarf. Mm -mm. The real question here, Dad, is do you feel like a French icon? Do you feel like a French icon? A fashion influencer. Well, what's a French icon feel like? What, what do you feel like it's when you feel it, you'll know. Okay, we have a pile. Dad, we have your perfume for the subtle little little additive check. We have your wallet. We have the details checked in the store. The wallet. And we have the scarf checked. So we still need shoes, outfits, and anything else that we find. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, guys. We are ready to go this morning. We are going shopping. Yesterday, we did accessory shopping for my dad, right? We got him all the accessories to make him to a French Parisian fashion icon that he truly is inside. Today, we are doing outfits. So we need pants, leather jackets, shirts, definitely shoes. We looked at some shoes yesterday. We loved them. Nothing that we bought because we weren't like completely 100% sure. We wanted to look at Gucci today. Ready, dad? Ready. Dad's outfit, Ready. cute, slowly be. turning into the Parisian icon. We haven't really done shopping yet. Mom, outfit of the day, check. Look how cute mom looks with her little Louis Vuitton scarf. Mm -hmm. Little purse. <laughs> Gucci loafers. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Gucci loafers. Target. That is the target. Go whip. Just like a husband tamer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we met our essay here, Angelo, who's wonderful. We're telling him about the free from makeover. Oh, those are nice. These with Dad's outfit today because he's so nice. We really found your style now, Dad. Here you go. That bad boy on. Go ahead. Wow. <laughs> don't worry. Nope, don't worry. I have the right foot for you. Don't. I know you were really upset about it, so I got you the correct foot. Why? <laughs> it's even your size. Whoa. You don't mean whoa. What do you think? I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. La la da. Wow, look at you, Dad. You feeling the part now? You feel the, the French fashion pulsing through your veins? <laughs> what do you think, guys? 
<laughs> we did good. He's wearing them. I know it's like it's a. We were usually doing unboxing, but they were just too good with his outfit. What were what were we gonna do? You know, they're too good. The old faithfuls are in there that I'm gonna burn later while he's asleep. But <laughs> they look so good. All right, Dad has them on. Wearing them in. What do you think? We're going right here. So far, they're Yeah? Okay, well, yeah. we're gonna go into Laura Piana next because I feel like maybe we should try on the Laura Piana loafers. Okay, as you saw, I just popped into Laura Piana because I feel like maybe the Gucci loafers in black were fantastic, but maybe Laura Piana loafers will just give a little variety, right? Variety. So we're gonna try those on. We did put the black ones on hold at Gucci, so we'll see which ones we like more. Dad, Laura Piana is very, very well known for their cashmere and their wool. That is very high quality. So they're very, very subtle. It's very much a, if you know, you know brand. They're like the millionaire's brand, if you will. Their most popular, most well-known sort of like to the masses item is the loafers. Loafers are ID. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, we've, we've laid it somewhere, but we're not sure where. Oh my, please open. Oh, Woo, oh. all right, let's never do that again. <laughs> okay, here we go at the sneakers. These are really nice. I thought these were kind of be nice. As like a nice casual, you know, instead of your Skechers. Even with this outfit would be nice. these French fashion icon. They, they do look nice. They do. We did good. Here we, go. we got the goods in Laura Piana. Yeah. Thank you so, way, so much. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. I even has his shoes on. He's had three pairs of shoes in the last the last few hours now. Yeah. <laughs> we might go back to Gucci for the black loafers if we don't find anything else. But right now we're going to eat some lunch. So let's go. Okay, just finished dinner. It was wonderful. Now we are going to Massimo Duty because it's right next door. Originally, we were gonna go to a mall, but um, it's quite far away and we've never been there before and uh, all those shops close in like an hour. So we thought, tried and true, Massimo Duty, it's next door. We'll go there, get some good solid outfits. And if we can pull off the mall in like tomorrow the next day, we will. But if not, at least we have Massimo Duty to rely on, you know? Uh, so yeah, let's go. Massimo duty. Ready, Dad? I don't know yet. Maybe. We're gonna buy the whole store. That's the goal. Oh. The whole thing. Oh, no. Let's go. Oh. Trying on the black. Wow. Ooh la la. The other one is a brown and a navy. Wow, look at this jacket. That looks great. Yeah, whoop whoop. Dad, how do you feel? You have a brand new wardrobe. We got like five pairs of shoes, four pairs of pants, a whole bunch of shirts. We're gonna have fashion show at the Ritz after this. Fashion show at the Ritz. <laughs> and here you have it the full layout all the jeans all the jackets and the shirts and the shoes if this does not make him into a parisian fashion icon i do not know what will i will say also so much of this was on sale like mass by judy for the freaking win we caught them at the like the perfect time now he tries everything on are you ready four the man himself, the most interesting Midwestern dad in the world, runway show. <laughs> okay, we have outfit number one, the brown bomber jacket with the navy blue sleeves to match the navy blue pants into the Laura Pianas that are in caviar, but also kind of double as a bit of a blue. They are black-ish gray-ish blue. That's why they're called caviar. And, or the brown loafers. Love this as a first option outfit. Ooh -wee. Wow, ooh la la. Oh, encore, encore. 
Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Dad, that looks really good. <laughs> the navy blue and the brown, so chic. Whoa, whoa. Details, details. Look at the details, like nice and soft texture is everything. Details, right? Whoa. It's not only different uh, colors, right? But you have the different textures. You have a like a nice sort of suede into a jersey, into like a corduroy type kind of pant, into the leather bits. Like it's so well styled, <laughs> I'm just saying. Next outfit, we have the brown leather jacket, the brown cashmere and the dark medium wash jeans with the brown suede boots. I can't. Okay, second reveal. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look at the boots. That how freaking good is with the cashmere, all brown, and the brown boots. And look at those jeans. The color of those jeans is actually insane. I mean, he looks so good in those jeans. And the details, look at the details. Wow, the brown cashmere brown jacket, incredibly good wash jeans, and the brown boots. How good is that? I love it, I love it. I would like to note the texture. You have a leather into a cashmere into a suede. It's the textures on men that really make the outfit. Next, we have a classic black leather jacket, cream white top, black pants, and an option of the black loafers or the white sneakers with black touches to draw up the white. This is obviously, you know, pretty basic, but it is classic Parisian style, yes. And we can have a bit of a twist and add the Louis Vuitton scarf to this outfit because it is black. You see where I'm going? Okay, next outfit. We are ready for you. Ooh. <laughs> wow, look in there, look. Look how nice that looks. Look at the details. Louis Vuitton scarf, white shirt, leather jacket with the like nice sort of different texture pants and the new leather loafers. I literally love it. How nice and chic is that, Anne? If it gets cold, a bit of that. <laughs> So good! Next, we have the monochrome topes. We have a corduroy and the cashmere halfway button with the zip on top. Now, this and this, this looks more gray on camera for some reason. This is like a true sort of taupe and it goes perfect with this one, like in person and they look really go together. And the trainers with a bit of that taupe to match. Yeah. And then of course, it goes without saying, you could do any combination of these right here and it would look fantastic. So, you know, all of these can be mixed and matched. Lots of outfits here. Okay, next outfit reveal. And wow, look at that. It's so nice. Seriously, all these are so good. Blue again though with the texture. Look at the details. And then this on top with this light gray into the lighter wash jean and the Loro Piana sneakers. I love it. A good one. Like this is so soft too. I cannot even tell you guys how soft this is. What do you guys think? Yeah, with it zipped with the with the color, that looks that looks really good. We also switched up the outside so we could put this on the outside of it instead of the blue. He did like a, a light brown version, which is also a great option. Next reveal. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. And again, this amazing sweater that we like so much. And then this cashmere, darker wash jeans, but different than the other ones. And these white sneakers. What do you think? Nice. Right? Dun, dun, dun. The mono chromatic brown. Love it. Again, this, but with the darker color of the cashmere and that. Corduroys and these really epic leather sort of trainers that are like a ready toned brown. You could also obviously switch out the corduroys for just like darker wash jeans and that would look fantastic too with like the whole brown. Okay, final outfit officially is. Da -da -da -da. Oh my gosh, look how good this is. First of all, I would like to note, look how, look at the zip, right? 
and the boots. Look how well those match. A classy full wool black overcoat on top and the jeans, yes. Look how nice that is. Dad, I love it. Okay, officially comment down below which one was your favorite. Let me know guys, let me know. Comment down below which one, which one won Parisian fashion icon, iconic winner. Thank you.